A.A. Ron. Where are you? Where is A.A. Ron right now? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! A.A. Ron is present. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Tom Cruise done messed up, uh, maybe at least by proxy. Judd Apatow last night hosted the Directors Guild Awards and absolutely bodied Tom Cruise in Scientology in his opening monologue. I don't have any video of it. I've searched for it and I can't find it. But here's what was reported uh, about the monologue in The Hollywood Reporter. Headline, Judd Apatow mocks Tom Cruise's height, Scientology relationship in DGA Awards monologue. Apatow, who served as host for Saturday's show, said of Cruise, the only thing he seems to be afraid of is co-parenting and antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now, Judd Apatow has a history with Tom Cruise and Scientology. You know, Seth Rogen has a story that he tells about a meeting that him and Judd Apatow were having with Tom Cruise. It was some sort of a movie pitch. And Tom was basically trying to recruit them into Scientology in the conversation. Uh, I've never heard Judd tell his version of that story. But Seth Rogen has told the story many places, and Judd was definitely a part of that experience. So it goes on here. Judd Apatow let loose on Tom Cruise during his DGA Awards monologue on Saturday night, roasting the superstar on everything from his height to his commitment to Scientology. Apatow, hosting the awards show for the fourth time, started off the bit by teasing that the visual effects in Top Gun Maverick were so top-notch, I couldn't even see the stack of phone books Tom Cruise sat on to reach the flight controls. <laughs> he continued... That's why he's always jumping out of tall buildings because you can't tell how short he is from a 100-story building. That's why he's standing on a wing of an airplane. That's why when he's standing on a wing of an airplane, he's always alone. He doesn't want anyone there next to him for scale. The director noted how when Cruz jumped up and down on the couch while on Oprah on the Oprah Winfrey show in 2005, everyone thought, what a lunatic. Now he drives a motorcycle off of a cliff and then base jumps and we're all like, Tom's fine. Tom is not fine. Something is wrong right now. He jokingly told Cruz that at the end of Thelma and Louise, they didn't actually drive off a cliff, declaring, you're 60, calm down. <laughs> he then shifted to Cruz's famous relationship with the Church of Scientology, saying every time he does one of these new stunts, it does feel like an ad for Scientology. It really does. The only thing he seems to be afraid of is co-parenting and antidepressants to some audience gasps that that is a serious that is like a stick the knife in and twist it kind of joke i mean that is a joke directly aimed at the fact that tom has disconnected from his daughter suri and hasn't seen her in, in god knows i mean how long has it been now 10 years i don't even know but it's been a lot of years i have never seen anybody publicly ridicule tom cruise for disconnecting from suri that's actually why i thought this was remarkable enough to to do a video about like that is an intense that is an intensely personal and insulting joke on a very, uh, a very big stage by a very famous Hollywood player. Okay, so he goes, the only thing Tom seems to be afraid of is co-parenting and antidepressants. Do you think if Tom Cruise took antidepressants, he'd be like, I'm not jumping off of an effing motorcycle on a cliff. Why do I even work? I'm rich. Tom Cruise's Top Gun Maverick director, Joseph Kaczynski, who was nominated for the night's top prize, and producer Jerry Bruckheimer were present for the monologue, though the star himself did not attend the show after appearing at the Oscar nominees luncheon earlier in the week. Well, I mean, I guess Tom himself wasn't nominated for an award. I mean, it was the Directors Guild Award. But actually, but Jerry Bruckheimer was a producer. He wasn't the director, so Tom Cruise was a producer. I wonder why Tom wasn't at the audience. And I wonder if Judd would have told the joke even if Tom was in the audience. I mean, the hits just keep on coming as far as Tom Cruise Scientology jokes at awards shows. I mean, don't forget this gem. This is, uh, for those of you who might not have seen this, this was at the Golden Globes just, uh, I don't know, less than a month ago or so. Check this out. Backstage, I found these uh, three Golden Globe awards that Tom Cruise returned. I think maybe we take these three things and exchange them for the safe return of Shelly Miskovich. That was funny. It was, it was awkward, right? Because at first it was kind of silence and then some most of the people there didn't actually get the joke. And then the few people there that did get the joke took him a moment to process like, oh my God, I cannot believe he just made that joke from stage. Um, but that was a little more obscure. That's a Shelly Miscavige joke. I don't know, that joke about Surrey Cruz. Wow. I mean, that that is bringing some heat. That is, uh, that is That's a lot of balls from Judd Apatow to make that joke, but good on him. Because honestly, it's one of the craziest things that journalists never ask Tom Cruise about. You know, These entertainment journalists will interview him for whatever his latest project is. They act like he's the greatest guy in the world, uh, you know, greatest entertainer, greatest actor, last real movie star. 
And it's like, uh, did you really disown your daughter because of Scientology? Kind of, you know, I mean, that's not a minor point. So, you know, I doubt any entertainment journalists will be asking those hard hitting questions, but at least people like Judd Apatow can get up on stage and make jokes in front of the entire world, uh, ridiculing Tom Cruise and how Scientology has even destroyed Tom Cruise's family. Uh, it's probably more accurate to say Tom Cruise has destroyed Tom Cruise's family because of Scientology. So sometimes the humor is the only way to get there. All right, everybody, that's all I have on this. Thank you for watching and listening. Thanks to everybody who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe 